A COVID-19 outbreak has been declared in a fourth unit at Vancouver General Hospital. Three patients have tested positive for the virus on a surgical inpatient unit in the Jim Pattison Pavilion. In February, three additional outbreaks were declared on other units. In total, 23 patients and 19 staff at the hospital have tested positive for COVID-19. There are 564 new cases of COVID-19 across the province tonight, and four more people have died in the last 24 hours. A key area of concern continues to be the Fraser Health region, where about half of the province's new cases are once again being reported. 248 people are currently in hospital, with 64 listed in intensive care. So far, nearly 5% of eligible British Columbians have had the vaccine. And that number is expected to start going up much higher as more vaccine doses are set to arrive in BC next week. We know that uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is in for final review with Health Canada. We don't yet know when it might be available, but that will be another tool, another piece that we can add to our toolkit. Um, we know that we have increasing protection in our most at-risk people, and that will increase dramatically starting again next week. But we've also had an uptick in new cases, and we've seen the rise of some of the more transmissible variants in our communities here, and particularly in the Lower Mainland. I know these restrictions and closures in many parts of our society have been draining on all of us, and we all want to get back to our regular activities as soon as we can. More details on how and when to register for a vaccine will be available later this month. And if you're looking for a timeline on when life could start to feel a little more normal, here's what Dr. Henry thinks. I'd like to, I don't know, maybe I'm too optimistic, but we're going to be in our post-pandemic world by the summer if things continue to go uh, the way that we want them to. We know there's going to be snags.